Welcome back to another edition of the CEO's blog. Thank you for joining us, John. Uh, it's been a big week and there's been some amazing performances on track right across this state. Yes, um, if you look at uh, the Racing the Star Trek final, of course, uh, the Kevin and Kay Seymour Evolution Series final, and down at Griffith there were, there were some marvellous performances. Mm, well, at Griffith, a, the, a, an 11 year old pacer won, Leaky Smokin. Yeah, David Kennedy, Blake Jones, um, they just keep doing it. Uh, 50 odd metres it won by, so it was a pretty good effort there. And, um, and then we get to um, the Star Trek final and everyone thought o o ominous warning was across the line and finished, and that's with not far of the race to go. Mm. And out of the clouds came um, young um, young Michael Musket. Mm. So, um, uh, you know, that was, um, that was terrific. Yeah. And then we ended up with uh, the Evolution series and uh, another great performance. Yeah, Nathan Jvarab landed his 100th winner and he's his first Metro win as well on um, Bella Claire. Yeah, 100 winners, that's a, that's a really good effort for a young driver, but uh, when we talk about young drivers, um, the effort of Chris Geary, he's the youngest driver uh, in New South Wales to hit 500 winners. Mm. Um, he's got a very big future in front of him. We've known it for a long while. We've known it since he was a, um, an Inter-Dominion um, ambassador, a young ambassador oh, for the Inter-Dominion way back there in, uh, I think, at about 2014. So um, now um, Chris goes really well and, and, and all the kids go well in our sport. Mm. Well, Chris is representing uh, New South Wales in the upcoming Australasian Young Drivers Championship as well. And hopefully he'll follow where uh, Toddy went and he'll bring that trophy home for us as well. Yeah, most definitely, yeah. Toddy, he almost got the cash in the New Zealand Cup yesterday with Tiger Tara. So close. Um, uh, can I say a dirty, rotten cheats lane? Um, you said it. I said it. Mm. Tiger did the work. Um, Marvellous effort by um, Kevin, Kevin Pizzuto, taking that horse to New Zealand. That's the second year in a row he's gone there. Tough runs. Um, so sad or so, you know, it bothered me that he got beaten. I, I was mm. cheering, cheering long and loud. Um, Toddy, uh, good drive, um, but uh, that cheat, cheat slam was the only thing that beat them. Yeah, just just in the shadows of the post. But it looks like uh, Tiger's nominated for the uh, the free-for-all on Friday. Yeah, back in the free-for-all. Uh, I m must compliment uh, the New Zealand Cup. It's one of the great harness racing uh, days um, across the world, really. And um, the domination of um, Mark Purden and Natalie Rasmussen, they deserved every winner they got. So mm. whilst I might be disappointed for Tiger Tara and, and Kevin Pizzuto and the owners, um, still a great day's racing. Mm. And usually a, a great night's worth of racing in March is the uh, Bathurst Gold Crown Carnival and for next year we have a date change. Yeah, we're going to the Friday night or Bathurst is going to the Friday night. This is unfortunate, mm. but we'll see. It could be could play to our uh, favour as well. The, uh, with the National Rugby League putting a game on um, on the Saturday night, we couldn't have those two major events in Bathurst clashing. So um, uh, a little bit of cooperation all round and I think the other clubs have moved off of Friday night to allow Bathurst um, that clear day and uh, four Group One races. Um, it'll be great racing there at Bathurst uh, to Danny and Wayne and um, everybody up there and the council. The council supported it very well. Um, we're looking forward, and I think you should be booking your uh, accommodation now if you if you really want to be there because with the rugby league on, I think it'll be a really popular weekend. Mm, yeah, and Bathurst, the Bathurst Harness Racing Club have a, a Bathurst tour as well associated with all the activities they've got on on and off the track. So maybe uh, look forward, look into that a bit more if you're interested. Okay, John, we're talking about feature race meetings. We had our second Carnival of Cups meeting in New South Wales for this season at Griffith on Saturday night. A great meeting, um, uh, strong fields, uh, better fields than the previous year. So everything's going well in that respect. But um, uh, the highlight of the night was um, young Jordan Siri. Uh, he he won, a, won a double, first time he's ever had a double. So only a young, a young fellow, 18 years old, I believe. So he's got a big future in front of him. He's attached to Bruce Harpley's table. Uh, but the Mini Trotters, uh, big turnout of Mini Trotters. 19, 19 of uh, horses there and uh, the kids have a, uh, they put on a show and it entertains the crowd. Um, um, young Sian uh, Deves was having her last drive uh, um, as a mini trot driver. She she wants to get, she's anxious. She wants to get into the big horses. And one of the things we do at Harness Racing New South Wales with these younger drivers moving into the older ranks, um, you, they should remember that we will pay their license fees, etc., for the first 
the, the first five years in the big ranks. So, yeah. um, Siam, we're looking forward to her um, getting into the big ranks now and getting that C-grade licence and, and competing. So, but, oh, great racing. Great racing all round for the mini trots. Yeah. And back to Jordan Siri, he won the main feature race with Ned Pepper and um, also competing in that race is Peter McCrae and he recently landed his first treble. So plenty of talent in the Riverina, young yeah. talent. Yeah, I missed that one. Th uh, th three we wins. Yeah, three wins. Um, uh, that's a mighty effort. So yeah. Peter McRae, he's he is a good driver. Mm. He's represented in the in the Rising Stars, and uh, he has a big future. As I say, so many of our young people have a bright future mm. in harness racing here in New South Wales. Well, this Sunday at Bl uh, it's Blaney's Carnival kind of Cups meeting, and they have a drivers' invitational race. Yes, um, um, these are good events. Uh, they pull the best of the best and, if, and a good collection of people. So there's a strong eight race program at uh, Blaney. It was a bit disappointing last week, but um, this week it's a really strong meeting. Blaney, one of the most beautiful little tracks you'll ever come across. The guys out there, um, Trevor and Maxie and John, uh, the work they do, it's just a pretty, pretty place. And if you can't make Blaney on on, on Sunday, watch the vision on, on Sky Sky 2 um, and you'll really appreciate what a wonderful job they do in getting that track ready for it. only two meetings a year. Mm, most definitely. Hopefully I can make it out there. And uh, one more topic I want to talk to you, John, about uh, before we wrap up this edition is mayor's races. They've been very well supported. Well, mayor's races... Um, um, Rod Smith and the, and the board went out with an objective uh, before the season started and before the financial year started to put more into fillies and mares races. Uh, you must remember 50% of the uh, foals that are uh, born are, are filly. 40% mm. uh, of the horses offered at the uh, yearling sales are fillies, so we have to do all we can. Well, uh, it's paid off. Um, uh, Year on year, we've run. That's the first four months of this financial year. We've run 72 mares, fillies or mares races only, more than what we ran the year before. So something's working there. They're guaranteed to be run um, with with low numbers, six horses. Uh, there's the extra races in at Menangle for the Metropolitan Mares as well. So um, uh, we really thank all the trainers, the owners, uh, to, for getting behind this. Um, yes, a great initiative from, from the board, as I said, but um, the money's there to be won. We're putting the money up, and, and it's great to see these initiatives pay off. So well done to everyone, and thank you for being part of it. Mm, most definitely. Okay, do you have anything else for us in this edition? Don't miss Blaney on Sunday. That's all I can say. Travel there by car, bus, or however. And if you can't do that, watch it on Sky 2. All right. Thank you for your time, John. My pleasure, Amanda.